Mr. He's sitting in my office chair just like ruining my life right now. I know that's hard to believe, but he is a monster. Mister! What are you doing? Get out of my chair. Stop just staring at me. Just get out of my chair. He's scratching himself. He said, no, fuck you. I'm going to do exactly what I want. channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy Sometimes Mouse and I talk about books and book related things and dear god it has been a minute since I have done a sit down video. I have been going through it as a lot of you guys know. I have not had a chance to really film anything or had the spoons to really film anything so today I am very late giving you my November wrap up. Now a lot of you guys are also doing clear your shit and so you recognize that this is Maybe you recognize, I don't know. I don't know your life. Uh, so you probably recognize that this is also a part of my Clear Your Shit wrap up for November. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I read 15 total books, so not a whole lot, but as you guys know, my whole life went to shit. Also, I got, I, I'm getting into 18 inch fashion dolls right now. Don't look at her. She doesn't even have a name right now. Okay. She's just hanging out. Don't worry about her. But anyway, I read 15 total books. I think that's about how much I read in October as well, so great. December? Probably not going to be these numbers. <laughs> um, I read a total of 3,123 pages and I listened for 97 hours and 10 minutes, which is an average of 4 days, 1 hour and 10 minutes. My average rating was a 3.9, which is what it seems to be the standard for the last couple of months, um, around 4 and 3.9. I've been reading okay books, nothing too outstanding, but also nothing terrible. I have read an average of 130.57 pages per day and listened to an average of 6 hours, 52 minutes, and 41 seconds per day. I think December is a lot more um, physical books or ebooks than it is audiobooks, so I think December is going to end up very different than this November wrap up. I purchased a total of two books. I did not get the cost of that total, so I don't really know what that is, um, but I did purchase a total of two books and I did two rereads. Of those books, seven of them were audiobooks, five of them were ebooks, and three of them were physical books. I had one book between the pages of 201 and 300 pages, six books between the pages of 301 and 400 pages, and one book over 700 pages. I read eight adult books, four young adult books, and three middle grade books. I read eight fantasy, one romance, one historical, one thriller, and one horror book. That doesn't seem like enough enough numbers there. That seems like I forgot to put more numbers, so we're just gonna say great and leave that at that though because I'm not going to go back and check my stats. I will also say that I'm going to be doing a video on my book blanket. I have finished it so I am planning on doing a video going over the book blanket, what I would have done differently, what I am doing differently next year. So you will not see the book blanket at, th at this point. This is normally when you would see it um, but I will be showing it in that video as soon as I get it filmed. I also want to say before we go into the top and bottom books of this month, I will be, instead of doing my normal like top 10 and bottom 10 as I did last year, I think I am going to do a brackets situation where I have them battle to the death essentially um, to discover who is the top, um, who is the top book of the year and the bottom book of the year out of all of those books. So I think that's the best way because then I can give you all t I can give you 12 options of really good books but then the one that I think wins above all of them um, and I think it'll be fun to film that so for my top books of the month we do have um, Babel by RF Kuang I actually physically own this one it's in my new bookshelf right now um, I really really enjoyed this book obviously it is probably it's, it's definitely gonna be a top book this month period and I uh, I had a lot of fun, not fun reading it, but it was really interesting reading it because I was both reading it and listening to it, and it was a really solid book. A lot of information though, and pretty heavy, and considering everything I was dealing with, it was pretty hard to finish by the time um, things started to get difficult. Um, so I was struggling a little bit with that, but once 
I like got the ball ro rolling and had some time to just sit down and listen to it or read it, it was a lot easier and I just really enjoyed it. I think that the characters were really interesting and I think that the way that it handled things like racism and privilege was really really well done. Um, if you like the Poppy Wars you might like Babel. It is not nearly as um, action-esque as the Poppy Wars were but it's still very very interesting. The next two are the Amari and the Night Brothers and Amari and the Great Game. So I read the sequel to Amari and the Night Brothers this last month and obviously reread Amari and the, and the um, Night Brothers and it was really really good. I enjoyed the continuation of the story. I enjoyed finding out what was happening with her brother. I enjoyed all of the like secret society politics-y kind of stuff. Um, I thought that all of it was really well handled and really fun to read and I enjoyed kind of a break in what I had been reading predominantly adult content this past month so I enjoyed the break from that with um, Amari and the Night Brothers because it's a, a middle grade and I also just find these stories like heavy in all the right ways like I think that middle grade can be heavy I think that it's allowed to be heavy but I also think that people like don't like to give kids tough topics and they kind of glaze over them and I feel like B.B. Alston does not do that. I feel like it is as heavy as it generally is for kids of that age group and sorry about the cat if you hear him running around. He's a Bella now so he can't sneak up on me. But that is, those are the top books of the month and I, I like I said, really enjoyed Amari and the Night Brothers. Um, Normally I have top five. There weren't enough books for me to really say that I had a top five of this month, so that's these are the three you're getting. <laughs> the worst book of the month was Phaedra, um, and the reason that it was the worst book is definitely because um, all of the characters sounded the same. So it was written from several, several points of view, and I mean like a lot. Phaedra's being the predominant point of view, but it was written by a lot of points of view. And while I had seen some reviews that said this was a problem, I didn't really, I figured, you know, I will read it at the top of the chapter and that will keep me in the frame of mind that this is the person who's talking. But I would be reading and completely miss that we had switched points of view despite trying to remember to do that. And then I also would forget that, like, not forget, but I would miss that, like, we um, were still, at, like, my brain would be like, oh, we, we're in this chapter, right? We're talking from this person's point of view, right? No, it would be a completely different person. Additionally, it felt like there was no real resolve that was of interest or benefit, and it, the story just dragged on and on and on, and I honestly left the book wondering what was the point. And I know that we like to retell these Greek retellings from the women's points of view now as a form of feminism, and I do understand that and respect that, and I respect that process. I. I loved Circe, I loved Ariadne and um, Jennifer Saint's books, right? But I I have not enjoyed, um, I did not enjoy Phaedra. And I think that it's because whatever point it was trying to make was sort of lost in the fact that this story was not, it was not, how do I word this? This story could not have ever given you a, uh, really encouraging ending because it wasn't an encouraging story and also I will say because I had just read Ariadne not too long ago I, at least it feels like not too long ago I already knew a lot of the story and because I re-listened to Circe all the time so you hear about Phaedra's mother you know I just I'm tired of talking about this specific set of people I think that there are more women's stories to be told and this one just wasn't it and I just didn't enjoy it um, so that is my wrap up. I know that it's pretty short, but I haven't really sat down and filmed anything in quite some time. So I thought that this would be a good start just because it seems like, you know, I know what I'm talking about and I, um, had it mostly scripted and it seemed like the easier thing for me to film right now, the least emotional thing for me to film right now. So I, um, I decided that this was the, the path forward, right? Um, and that's it. I'm gonna go. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, sorry again that it's short and sweet and that it's been so long since I've had a video, but I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and share and leave a comment down below if you've heard of any of these books, like these books, whatever. Uh, and if you did not enjoy this video, let me know how I can make it better unless it is about my opinion. I That's subjective, so obviously whatever. Unless you can educate me on the Greek stuff that I'm like completely missing, which I will, I will appreciate that and enjoy that. So don't even worry about like 
about that being a problem. It's more that I just, uh, I just, I didn't enjoy it. I don't know. And maybe it was partially the timing. I slogged through, I literally had, I think like 15 minutes worth of reading left in it. And it took me like four days to finish it just because I just didn't want to, but I was too far in to really validate DNFing. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, on that note, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope that you get, and I'm leaving all of that footage in because I'm shaming you publicly. All right, on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you have a great day. Don't forget to drink your water, take your meds, and take care of yourselves. Um, I will see you next week, hopefully on Tuesday, but definitely on Thursday. Um, I try to post every single week on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. Central Standard, but like I said, life's been hard. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>